here on the upstairs master bedroom. What was your inspiration for designing this room? Really the entire second floor is about being a perch in the forest canopy. We were able to highlight some of the wood beams in here, which are actually structural, covered in this beautiful red cedar. It truly brings out the warmth and really just highlights that you're tucked up in here within the roof structure. Yeah, the feeling of being in the tops of those trees in the branches, you look up, you see this wood above you as you fall asleep at night. There's something quite magical. Why don't you take me outside and show me the balcony? Absolutely. So this balcony is really the ultimate perch looking out into this forest canopy that we talked about. You're tucked up right against here against this beautiful blackboard and batten and tucked right under this incredibly warm six foot deep soffit here that we've got. This is an engineered product that's made in-house at Sand Cedar. We've taken a naughty cedar backing using a four millimeter clear veneer on top. We can make eight of these boards out of what would have been just one clear cedar board before. So we're really trying to stretch the usage of this material and keep it a renewable resource. I wanted to ask you about this custom railing you guys did. You actually went with yellow cedar, and I'm wondering what your thought process was behind that. Yellow cedar has a bit of a lighter uh, tone to it than the red cedar does that we've used elsewhere, which really allowed us to get a near-perfect match to the hardwood flooring that we have in here, which we really wanted to tie in between the railing and the actual stair and floor. Mm -hmm. We were able to get a really smooth finish on the tan rail if you run your hand over it. It's yeah. just very nice to hold, and you can see the grain is just stunning in this wood. It's a nice kind of up-close way to interact with cedar in the house. This is just fantastic, this show. Yeah, cedar soft made up. Yeah, and we were able to bring that in because this is the only double height space that actually goes right up to our roof line from the main level, we really brought in the soffit. So we used that same tongue and groove material from the outside to really make it seamless. You're not having a break between two different materials. I love that. We're bringing the outdoors in. Thanks for watching The Mark and Mandy Show. Like our video by clicking below and subscribe to our YouTube channel.